Um, I'm here with Dr. Yepes Stockholm. Um, can you tell us the name of your company and where it's based? So I'm from Amazix. And uh, Amazix, we are uh, known as the company who have made so far 120 projects and assisted our projects to raise more than 1.3 billion dollars. So uh, we have this uh, track record within uh, the blockchain space. And what we are doing now is that we try to build this regulatory umbrella where we can facilitate projects doing security token offerings because security tokens that is highly a regulated area I mean uh, what we see right now is a total disruption of the financial system on how to transfer assets so basically we can transfer anything from real estate to gold anything and that is a very interesting area to be in right now so your company seems to be quite global can you tell us what your interest is being here at the summit today so for us being here in Malta is basically to connect with all our business partners and associates because yes, we are a global company, but uh, here in Malta these days, everyone is coming in. So people are coming in from Asia, from US, wherever. And that is extremely uh, good for us because normally on a day by day basis, we have time zones and uh, distance, but here we can really connect. So I love being here in Malta. It's not the first time I'm here and I will definitely be back next time again. Um, so Malta has become quite a blockchain island um, and I suppose you're quite aware with the regulatory framework for blockchain. Can you tell me your thoughts on that? Well, basically, I think uh, Malta is quite clever because uh, what we see in Malta is that we have this uh, legislation that is extremely friendly and it's um, embracing technology. So it's not only blockchain, it's also artificial intelligence and gaming. I mean, uh, what we see in Malta is this agile country, member of the European Union, who basically can facilitate uh, companies starting in Malta and then passport out to the rest of the European countries and then to the rest of the world. And then the tax environment also is very important because investors, when they invest in a project, they, they don't like withholding tax and, and, and all kind of uh, stuff that is not uh, in the interest of the investors, right? And, and we don't have that in, in, in Malta. So uh, when I sit and, and plan, and I mean, I have a PhD in international tax planning. It's very important for me that we, when we set up structures, everything is optimized because at the end of the day, day it's all about shareholder value and how to create value to the investors. Okay, so what's your background in tax? How do you think that Malta can make itself um, like a more um, attractive environment for early stage companies or startup companies in blockchain? Well, what we already have right now is a very friendly environment. It can still be better and we still need some clarification on uh, several subjects. However, my point is that when we compare Malta with the rest of the European Union and the countries there, then definitely um, Malta is in the winning league because uh, it's extremely friendly. However, uh, Malta also needs, and Malta is doing that, be very strict on compliance and anti-money laundering, but the, all the rules are there. So people claiming that, uh, oh no, no, what we see in Malta is just scams and so, uh, not at all. That's not my uh, opinion, because what we see right now is a highly regulated island that really facilitate new tech developments. And that is so interesting because what we see now is this very rapid development within technology. And then we see the legislation that is uh, not uh, developing so rapid as the tech developments, which means that there is this gap where we can solve a lot of things with the technology, but we cannot do it because the legislation uh, is in our way. So uh, I'm positive. But, but still, there's, uh, there's room for improvement. But that is not only Malta, that is basically uh, all the jurisdictions. But uh, for us as advisors, we try then to tailor-made these uh, solutions to our clients where they can navigate between the different rules so they can make global campaigns. Because that is what this is. This new uh, economy is global. So it's not about one jurisdiction or maybe two jurisdictions. When you do something now, you promote it on the internet, then immediately it goes global. And that is interesting. And that is also very important that you can navigate there because otherwise you end up directly in jail. And no one wants to end up there, right? So. 
Okay, thank you very much. Um, lastly, what do you think about the summit so far? I like it. Uh, because what I've seen so far is that you are following up on all the positive elements that have been created all the other summits. So people are traveling to be here. And that's a very big step because the right people are here. And uh, then, of course, there are also bad people because when things grow so big, there are also scammers out there. So you have to uh, really look around and, and uh, be true to yourself and not believe everything you hear. But, but I mean, if, if you are, think what you're doing, but, but still you can find the right people here. That's my point. Thank you very much for your time.